Yo, this is Yeti and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video, another video inside of Yeti's Blessed World. And today we are joined by Cornelius Cake. Good morning, Cornelius Cake. It took me a second to get up there. I like how you put that little canopy up there, Cornelius Cake, from the last episode. And if you did not see the last episode, I highly recommend you go back and you watch the last episode because I do think it is pretty fun and exciting. And Cornelius, if you want to meet me over here at the first of the video board while I make my way down there, if you want to bring me my breakfast, I will meet you down there and I will eat breakfast down there today. And we're just going to keep going down these steps here and we're going to go to this door today. We're just going to walk around the front. Good morning, Cornelius. I'll meet you right over here where we are going to be talking about. Ready? Are you ready for this, Cornelius? You're going to be excited for this one, because today we're going to be building stuff. And I know you like to build stuff. We're going to be talking about the fruits of the Spirit. And this verse comes from Galatians 5. It's actually Galatians 5, 22, 23, and it is the fruit of the Spirit. Part 1, because we're going to break this into two parts, because this is a lot to dive into today. But the verse does read, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. So basically, what we're getting into here is the first four of those. We're going to only talk about the first four, but basically the overall theme of this all is the fruit of the Spirit are in you once you've received the Holy Spirit, and you've received the Holy Spirit through baptism, you receive your salvation through accepting Jesus. If that makes any sort of sense to you all, we may have to do a full breakdown video just for that. But we're going to be talking about the first four, love, joy, peace, and long-suffering. And in other words, it, I know all those people kind of understand, but long-suffering is patience. Um, they It translates to the same thing. Um, yeah, so patience and long-suffering are one and the same. So when you hear me do refer to patience, I'm, if I, I will probably refer to both of them in the same manner. So, Cornelius, if you want to go ahead and give me my breakfast before we go down to where we are going to today. And I will eat this as we go up here to get a bird for today's video. And today, I think we are going to be bringing... Let's see. Here. We'll bring Pedro. Pedro can come with us today. Come on, Pedro. Okay, he's still on my shoulders. We're going to walk down these steps here, and he should stay. Uh, Cornelius, if you want to go get in your boat, because I'm going to be taking my boat down to where we're going today, down the river, because it is quite a bit of a walk down there. Just make sure not to hit the lily pads, because you will break the lily pads if you hit them. Okay, just go through here, and then we're going down here. Stay on, bird. Uh, okay, the bird is staying on. But today we're going to be diving into those first four fruits of the spirit, little by little, just kind of breaking them down just a little bit while we are going to be building our new build here. And today, if you want to know what we're building, we'll go ahead and tell you. Um, well, I will go ahead and tell you because we are building farms. Why are we building a farm, you may ask? Because we need a farm, we need stuff, and I'm going to be working on actual farms today. I already got it kind of laid out. Yes, uh, if you want to Cornelius, we'll go ahead and we'll pick up all this grass and stuff here and all the flowers. We'll go ahead and pick them all up so that way they're not in our way whenever we do go to build. So we're going to knock all these down before we dive into more of the fruits of the spirit. And we're going to dive into the first four. Actually, maybe first five. Maybe we will do kindness in this video as well. So the first five uh, fruit of the Holy Spirit, well, fruit of the spirit, Holy Spirit, however you want to put it, because there is one, two, three, four. Five farms. This is technically six farms in total, but this is, we're going to say there's five farms. So Cornelius builds a silo today in this video. So Cornelius is going to be over here building the hardest part of the video, a silo with the full interior while we go through here. And he has some resources laid out here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I guess I'm going to start on this farm, Cornelius. And that's when we're going to dive into the first fruit of the Holy Spirit, which is love. And, you know, the a verse that's good for this is Deuteronomy 6, 5, and that kind of just talks about love in a sense of, it says, and you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and that is in all your strength, and that is Deuteronomy 6, 5. So you must love your Lord, your God, with all you got in you, basically, is what it's trying to get a point across here. And you may be wondering, well, love you don't have to be filled with the Holy Spirit to show love. But true love is not self-seeking, and it is it will sacrifice for others. 
Um, love isn't like, hey, I want this, so I'm going to do this. You don't do stuff for a desired outcome. You do it just because you love the person. Like, get in, like, let's put it this way. Get in your mom a present. You get her a present because you want to show you love her. And you don't do it because you want something out of her in return. If you're going to get someone a gift, you don't want something in return. You just want them to be happy. And, you know, that's kind of what the Lord came and did for us whenever he sent his son for us, is he sent him here that if we want him in our lives, we can have him in our lives. But if we don't want him, we don't have to accept him. Why, you may ask, he did this? Because if he didn't do it, how else are we going to, you know, uh, live? So, um, we're going to finish up this farm here. I don't really know how else to show um, and explain that in the game. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to put all these cocoa beans on the logs here. And this is going to be our little cocoa bee farm here for our cookies. And while those are going, we're going to use the rest of these right here. And we're going to make ourselves some jungle planks. And we're going to need some more wood because we're going to need some sticks. Because we are going to make ourselves a hoe. And we're going to go ahead and... Oh, shoot. I didn't give myself enough room for this. Um, never mind. Looks like we're going this way with the farm. Unexpected turn of events. Farm's going this way now. Um, I'm going to have to get some more dirt. Uh, but farm's going this way now. It's just how it's going. We don't have any other way to do it. We're just going to have to go this way because I messed up on what we were supposed to do. But we're going to be growing watermelon and cocoa beans over here. And I'm just going to hope that that soil does itself. Oh, wait. This is this is melon seeds. I look totally ridiculous. <laughs> um, basically, what we were trying to get through with that first fruit of the spirit is love. you know. And we actually, I want to say one of the videos is all about love. That's already on here, but if it's not listed or linked in the comments, then that means it's scripted and has not yet been recorded. Um, so that will be um, in one of the videos. Just I'll eventually link it in this description, just because of this moment right here. But um, as we move on to the next fruit of the spirit, as I uh, hop on all of these soils, so that way they. I probably should have just placed blocks here, but you know what? We're we're being complicated today, I guess. We're going to come over here, and we're going to plant our first crop over here. We'll build the area for our first crop here, and that is going to be carrots. And once I get this ring done on the outside of it, we will hop into that next fruit of the spirit, because I want us to go ahead and go into this next fruit of the spirit, because it is um, one of my favorite fruits of the spirit which is joy and joy is from the lord and joy comes from fulfillment and that's as clear as i think i can put it joy comes from being fulfilled you are joyful when you are being filled and what should fulfill us doing the calling god has given us you know why well not just the calling the calling is kind of like what you use to show to actually like work for the kingdom but the fulfillment that gives you joy should only come from the lord and if it's not from the lord and you're finding all your joy and fulfillment in it then it is not of god and most of the time people find this and well this is actually going to be a little bit deeper than i thought but relationships people find them in relationships and i know growing up i found them only in relationships i always look for fulfillment in relationships Cornelius, you disappear. Okay, Cornelius. Oh, oh yeah, I think I know what happened. Yeah, I, I, this is hollow underneath it. You probably dug down and got hurt. My bad, Cornelius. <laughs> um, we're going to go over here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw these water buckets in this one. And I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to put this over here. But, um, oh shoot. Sorry, I have a Bible verse on joy. I should have listed that one already but for joy we have psalms 28 7 it says my heart leaps for joy and i will give thanks to him in song and that refers to if the lord is providing you joy worship him 
And, you know, I think it is important that we worship the Lord even whenever we aren't feeling joyful. Whenever we feel like giving up, that's even more of a reason to praise the Lord because we know he's going to provide a way through. That's quite literally just part of his, of who he is, is that he is going to help us through. And we know he's going to. And even if he isn't even going to help us anymore, we know that he can at least, um, we know that, oh, I'm trying to think of a way to explain it. I'm sorry, there is so much noise going outside of my room right now, and I don't know if you can hear it. And it's just kind of distracting me at this moment. And I'm going to just like take a deep breath because I'm hoping it didn't get picked up in the recording. Whew. Okay. But basically what we're trying to get through with that is that our joy, it should come from the Lord and we should not be fulfilled any other way. And God has done more than enough for us. And we know that he loves us. And if you love someone... Wait, well, that connects right back to that first one right there. We just said love. Um, the fruit of the Spirit are basically, um, if Jesus acted that way in the Bible, that is the fruit of the Spirit. It directly says what they are, but if you don't know what they are, you, don't, you can always kind of look back at, um, am I acting like Jesus or am I acting like um, myself? Am I doing what Jesus would have done or am I doing what I want to, to do ultimately? Would Jesus be like, well done, my good and faithful servant? Or would he be like, hey, I don't know you. But uh, after that, I guess we're really going to plant these carrots here. And I, I don't know what Cornelius is doing. So maybe Cornelius will have to build the silo between this video and the next video. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, or if his game has crashed on him or anything, because I can't currently hear him, in the, uh, he can hear me. So, I mean, this, uh, is he over here still? I have no clue. Yeah, he's over here still. Um, I'm going to say Cornelius' game has crashed on him. That is not very good. Um, and it says we're trying to get this recorded today, but that is all right. That is okay. We're just going to keep going forward. And I guess we can go ahead and we can hop into the next fruit of the spirit, which we went through love and joy. And now you're going down to peace. No, well, this is this is really speaking to multitudes. Let me tell you, because that is what I'm currently with all this noise going on. I am someone who is not very fond of noise everywhere. And our Bible verse for peace, I'm going to have to pick up my book here that I have this written in because I don't, um, I can't really like see it out of the corner of my eye and do this at the same time. So I guess I'm going to like move around while like zooming in on it. And it is number 626. May the Lord show uh, favor toward you and give you peace. And that's a verse you can quote all the time whenever you're like, hey, I need peace. I don't know what's going on right now. World's like ending in my perspective. Um, and that's kind of like how my mind goes a little. I'm going to go ahead and say that's kind of how my mind goes whenever I'm uh, recording a video and something messes up. I'm like, oh, shoot, I'm going to have to do this all again. And I don't want to have to record it all again. But, you know, it, it gets done. Either the video works out or I have to redo it. And if it gets redone, most of you all don't really ever know if I have to reshoot a video because I don't really like to go like very public with any recording issues I've had. I just kind of like go on and I'm like, okay, well, happened. So just got to keep going. And I feel like that may have just been kind of the way I was raised in a sense. But I'm hoping so much you all don't hear all the noise because then I'm going to have to redo this whole uh, farm here but our next fruit of the spirit after peace well i guess really we're still on peace here and we're trying to talk about peace a little is um with peace you know god can't actually that's what the last two videos were about um i don't know why i'm trying to come into words so hard with this we're gonna pray in the middle of this i'm so sorry well i'm not really sorry i'm just gonna pray um god just please give me peace right now god because um my mind is like all scatterbrained everywhere trying to remember these verses and I try not to look at the sheet, God, 
God, just please show me, God, the verses I need to do and help me not be a scattered burn currently, God, in your mighty name. Amen. Okay, guys. So, what we're trying to get at here with peace, um, the last two videos, they covered peace. And what we were trying to get through with it is that don't worry about anything. So to cast your cares upon the Lord, and that's what we just did there, was we casted our cares upon the Lord because He cares for us, and we know He cares for us. And that's just something, you know, that happens throughout life is we just have to cast our cares upon the Lord. Even when we don't want to, we've got to do it because ultimately, what's, what is it going to add to our stature? Will I add a cubit to our stature? No, no it won't. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Not at all. And then we're going to move on to our next fruit of the spirit. As soon as I get this dirt filled in so I can look down. And I can, I can get the information correct so I don't give you all the false information here. I would hate to do that. And we're going to fill this in right over here. Click, click, click. Okay. And our next fruit of the spirit is long suffering. AKA peace. That's what I was talking about earlier. That I may use them in a, uh, back and forth intervally. And basically what we're getting at over here with that is that with um, long suffering um, requires patience. And why does long suffering require patience? Because if you're going to suffer, hey, Cornelius, your game's back. Okay. That is so good. <clears throat> Hopefully you can go ahead and get that done, Cornelius. But basically what we're trying to get at with uh, peace, aka long suffering, is that the Lord, not peace, uh, patience slash long suffering, is that, you know, God's, I'm trying to do the best to explain this. This one's a little bit harder to explain. We'll just go ahead with the verse. And the verse is Revelations 14, 12. Meanwhile, the saints stand passionate, passionately patient, keeping God's commands, staying faithful to Jesus. Revelations 14, 12. And basically, we ha we're going to suffer in life. Everyone is. Even sinners, they're suffering. Even if they don't show it, they're suffering. Christians, even if we don't show it, we're suffering. Everyone is going to suffer. The difference with a Christian and someone who is not a Christian and is of the world. Oh, okay, the difference between someone in Christ and someone in the world is that the people in Christ, abiding in Christ, and the uh, fruits of the Spirit, they know that they're going to be taken care of and that they're all fine and dandy. While the people who are operating in this world, they're trying to find a fix for everything, and that fix doesn't always last, and it ends up hurting them in the long run. And a thing we can do as Christians to show Christ so people want to operate in Christ instead of operating in the world is showing these spirits, well, these fruit of the spirit. Oh, yeah, look at him. He's just whipping it out now. He's just wiping the blocks everywhere. He's just going whip, 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 whip all the way out there but basically what we're trying to get with this is that we don't as um christians we don't need to be operating in the world we need to be operating through christ and the fruit of the spirit which um hopefully i'm able to show people throughout my daily life th um that i am operating in the fruit of the spirit and that we can show other people what it is like to be not part of the world, but one in Christ, and what it is like to live in Christ. And it is a lot of suffering um, that people don't see, and they just see this other part, and they're like, well, you all don't even have to suffer, and, but you know, that's just not it. Uh, Christians, we do suffer a lot, and that's going to move us to our next one, which is kindness. And when we go into kindness, something about kindness is that... It is, um, our verse for it is in Galatians, once again, 5, 22 through 23. For the fruit of the Spirit are, is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And kindness, I don't know how else I would put it besides saying it is kindness. You gotta be kind to one another. I mean, what else could you say for it? You know? Hey, it's like being like, hey, guess what? Um... 
I'm going to be kind to you by doing this for you today. Look at Cornelius go. Always just a hard worker. Yeah, I mean, what else can you say about kindness, really? It's just kindness. At the end of the day, it's quite literally just kindness. I mean, I don't know how else to explain that one. That's why I went ahead and threw it in this video. When I looked down at my notes, it's hard. It's not hard to explain this kindness. Just be kind to everyone. And that kind of helps with long suffering is be kind to everyone. Don't seek fulfillment in yourself. Seek fulfillment through Christ and Christ will give you the opportunity to be fulfilled. And he will sustain you and he will satisfy you and he will fulfill you. And besides that, I don't know what else to really tell you all about it. And we've already got our first harvest uh, cocoa beans. We're going to throw the watermelon seeds in here for now, I guess. And we're gonna go ahead and throw the rest of the carrots in here. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw all of these potatoes in here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go grab all the extra stuff out of these chests. So that way we do not have to worry about them just being sitting all around here. But um, this is going to be leading us to the end of the video here. I promise we're, I, it's just going to take me a second to get all my stuff uh, sorted through here so that it's all fine and dandy. Okay, so well, it looks like Cornelius has gotten all silo done within minutes. Within minutes, let me tell you, he's got it done within minutes. And I've been doing this for like probably 20 something minutes. Oh no. Okay. But what I'm trying to get at here is that these are the first five fruits of the spirit. And I don't really, I really can't end on that note. It's really just going to be a tune in in the next video and you find out more about it. And we're going to go bug Cornelius real quick. We're going to Go over to Cornelius and we're gonna be like, hey, Cornelius. Oh shoot, he had to build all the way up there. Okay, I'm gonna let you do that, Cornelius. I'll let you do that and I'll end the video over here by myself today while you finish up that. We'll end it with our bird friend here. So basically, this is the end of the video until part two of the video and we got a silo and a farm done in today's video and in between this video, we're probably going to do a little bit of just detail work around the place and I will see you all in the next video right after we pray because i almost completely forgot to do that i'm so sorry i'm just so scattered brained with this my voice you can kind of already hear this is like our eighth video recorded today and this is this is just um I'll, it's been a lot today but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna end off this video with prayer god we thank you for letting us usher into your presence god and we thank you god for everything you're doing in our life and we just pray that you would help lead us and guide us in everything we do in life, God, and that you would just help sustain us and give us fulfillment, God. Help us to show love, joys, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, God, in our lives. So others will see you through us, so that way we can give glory and honor to your name, Lord Jesus, in your mighty name. Amen. And I hope you all have enjoyed this video, and I hope it has blessed you, and I hope you all have an amazing rest of your week as you go into the rest of the week. And I will see you all in the next video. And until then, leave your prayers down in the comments below. Forgot to add that. And bye!